What's good, YouTube? It's your boy El Puppy Jr., aka Young Black Bruce Wayne, aka the HUD Savior, bro. And as you can already tell from the title and the thumbnail, we are on some MX vs. ATV Reflex, aka the greatest MX vs. ATV of all time, on Fort Dodge 2, aka the greatest Supercross track slash track, greatest track ever from Supercross, Motocross, whatever you want to compare it to. This is probably the greatest track. So, yeah, um,. I just wanted to come revisit the all-time GOAT for Supercross uh, because the new MX vs. ATV Legends Supercross DLC is coming out. The World Supercross DLC is coming out um, tomorrow. So, yeah. Let's have some fun on this 4 Dodge 2, my guy. I'm not really locked in on this game like that. Um, I just got a PC. This, like, I'm new to PC. So, like, I've been playing Reflex my whole life on freaking 360. Now I got a PC. So, I got to kind of, like... I know it seems like it would be the same game, but it's really not, bro. It's, uh, I hear that you cannot scrub on PC, and I feel like scrubbing is a huge part of this game. Like, I just gotta approach every track differently, like, you know? Oh my goodness. So, yeah, man, and, uh, oh my gosh. Man, and also, bro, I noticed one thing. I've been playing a little bit of Reflex, I'm not gonna lie, and... The AI is not that good on here, so I don't know why people, like, constantly get mad at MX vs. ATV Legends about the AI. And also, another thing on MX vs. ATV Legends, you can, like, flick up on the left stick, like, kind of like, I just tried to do it on here, but obviously it doesn't work. And it just makes you go further in the air, and people complain about that, like, oh my gosh, that's so unrealistic. But look at this. If I, if I brake tap mid-air and fling my bike forward on reflex like this... I literally go further. It's like some in-air preload or something, bro. Um, I feel like that is extremely unrealistic. So, I don't know. I feel like people be sometimes a little bit too harsh on Legends. I'm not saying that Legends is perfect, but I feel like sometimes it could chill out. Like, you know? So, yeah. Um, speaking of MX vs. ATV Reflex and Legends, um, it's just a lot of people that just want Reflex Remastered. And, uh, yeah. And they say, like... They're basically saying MX vs. ATV sold the bag because they keep making these games and it's nothing like Reflex. Reflex is the GOAT. We all know Reflex is the GOAT. I'm pretty sure they know Reflex is the GOAT. But the truth is, they lost the game files to MX vs. ATV Reflex. Now, I know what you're thinking. Like, how the freak did they just lose it? THQ Nordic went bankrupt and they had to sell the game files to MX vs. ATV Reflex. And every other MX vs. ATV game, I think before that... So, everything is different now. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a game developer, so I don't know too much about too much. But I don't know if they make the games on the same game engine. See, the thing y'all have to understand is that these games are made on different game engines. Not every game is made on the same game engine. So, some things that are easy on different games to adjust might be harder for another developer because they're working on a different game engine. You know, like... It's just a lot to it than what y'all think. It's not as simple as whatever y'all think it is, bro. Um, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that Legends is a good game and it's perfect, but I don't know. Like, I don't know what they're doing over there. I don't know if they're working hard trying to fix the game or if they catting off. I really don't know, but I know that they did go bankrupt, and I know that they, if they could just give you guys MX vs. ATV Reflex Remaster, I'm pretty sure they probably would, and it would put a lot of money in their pockets, bro. Um, another thing is, there's just simply not a, a market for dirt bike games like that. Like, I know it seems like dirt bike is doing fine, but you gotta think when, oh my freaking frick frick, you gotta think when Reflex came out, um, Motocross and Supercross was a, like kind of a peak, bro. We had Ricky Carmichael. No, Ricky Carmichael wasn't racing, but just when James Stewart was racing around that time and Chad Reed and them, it was just almost like Motocross was like a mainstream sport. I wouldn't even consider Motocross to be a mainstream sport no more. Like back in the day, Motocross used to be on ESPN top 10, 100, like you know, like all types of stuff. It's just like kind of like Motocross sort of kind of fell off, bro. And I don't know why. I think it's because James Stewart and Chad Reed, the rivalry or whatever. I don't know. It's just like things aren't the same no more. And I, I feel the same way. Like things aren't the same. So there's not a huge market for motocross video games, bro. Like 
it is still a market but it's not nowhere near as big as it was when reflex came out because it was just so much hype around the sport man so yeah um i hope i explained like i just went off the dome with everything i just said like i don't i'm not sitting here with no notepad next to me with notes i took i'm just telling y'all what i think i know so yeah man if you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe don't miss my stream tomorrow on mx vs atv legends world supercross and yeah it's your boy l puppy and i'm out bruh peace